All right, guys, welcome back. We are playing Decisive Campaign Sudden Offensive, and we are playing the Germans. Axis, uh, 20th December 1944. It's 12.00 hours. It's noon. And uh, we have just played all of um, the German moves. And we are going to take a look at what the Allies do during their movements at 12.00 hours. And I think that's it, really. I don't have any... I mean, all the moves have been made. Uh, there is probably nothing else that I want to move. I have checked before. I don't think there is anything that I, like majorly missed or anything like that. So I think we are good. So we're just going to go for it and uh, take a look at it simply. And um, yeah, let's have a look. And as I mentioned before, the most thing I'm the, the thing I'm mostly worried about is really uh, up and around Trapon, La Glaise and Stumo. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be very very interesting to see if we have any reinforcements coming in and where they will show up and everything. But first, air attacks which is always dangerous. So, uh, yeah, no losses really to speak about. No losses there either. We did have good flags there. We did have some losses there, but nothing major. That's Hufalis. They're actually leaving there. They're leaving Bastogne. They are pulling back, it seems, towards Barton. They are leaving Hufali's area, it seems, maybe strengthening up there. Where is this one? I don't know. That's, yeah, I don't know. That's, ooh, goes for so fast here. That's in the 116th Panzer. They seem to be moving away. This is uh, Vilsalm. They're moving away. This is north. This is Holban A, they're moving away. This is Mersch, they're moving away. Rotken, they're moving away or strengthening up. Maybe not even strengthening up Rotken. They seem to be leaving Rotken even. Wow. Yeah. And uh, that's Redonge. That's Rotken up there. Falsham Jaegers. Oh, they were victorious there. Oh, that hurt. Wow. So that didn't work out. The tank unit there. I thought I had him surrounded for, for good, but nope. That was really unfortunate. All right. So that's the stone they're leaving. That is Rutgen coming in there. Intercepted fire, it's fire. Oh, this is the dangerous area. Seem to be still all right so far. And uh, uh, this is Bissen down there, preparing some kind of defense. They left Bissen actually, which is down by Etzelbrück. That spa right up there, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, that is pretty strong right up there. So there we should have some reinforcements right there. So that's interesting. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Are they going to hit me there? I do have two 99s in there, I think. Exactly, they did hit me there. And unfortunately, they... No, that was... Ooh, they hit me with artillery there. I lost 50 units there. Not that bad, but still that hurts. Okay, this is Rolban A. And this is 116th. They're moving away there. Where is this one at? Yeah, La Glaze. Stumo. Let me see here. Artillery. Lost some, but not, not more. 
uh, not a lot. We have Stuart coming up here, also Team Stuart helping out a little bit, but also being surrounded a little bit. Now, this is interesting. I'm not too worried about Build Salon because we have so many troops there. I'm mostly worried about this situation down here. But it looks to be contained. This is Mersh. They're actually moving up and away for the 212s. We got hit there, but no damage, it seems. This is up by. Um, oh, we got hit there, but they lost lots. So I guess that was good. That's interesting. So probably reinforcements there up by Spa. The Volban B section. That is, where is the 116th? Well, they're still assembling here, some kind of force anyway, preventing us from moving forward, I guess. This is Bastogne area. Really difficult for them there, of course. Again, this is where, that's, that was Vilsalm. This is 116th. Ooh, that one is totally unknown, so they went like probably from the south up north. Mm, that's interesting. That is Spa, and that's the end of turn. Ooh, very, very interesting. All right. So we're going to start by looking at weather and VPs, obviously. And then we'll continue with cards and um, stats. And then we'll do a deep dive into step by steps, all the steps of the enemy face. And then we'll analyze the present situation as we always do. So now we like ridiculously fun going into round 19. It's pretty cool. It's still overcast. And we, as we can see, we have four more rounds basically of overcast here. Then we have light precipitation. And it's still going to be just below zero, it seems. So that means no mud, which is good. So we have 127 VPs occupied on the map. Then allied casualties an extra 19, giving us 146, really moving up towards a major victory. And minor victory first within grasp, I'd say. And let's take a look at the losses here. Yeah, let's have a look at the I'm always interested in seeing the ratio. It's probably going to be pretty much the same, I think, but nevertheless. So we have now lost 10,164. Well, this is going to be easy to calculate here. So to keep like a five to five, that means they need to have basically 55,000 in losses in points. And they do. Exactly. So this is 56, 7, 8, 7 and enter. So this is so we have a 5.6 ratio actually to uh, the total losses. So it's increasing, it seems, which is, of course, fantastic. All right, let's have a look at the um, cards and the stats. The cards really doesn't really matter because we don't get any new cards. But we can see if there is any difference in cost. We now have uh, political points 120. Let's have a look at that first because we have victory conditions. Let's see. Here we go. PP rewards. So now we have Poem and Bitburg, uh, which we had from the beginning. We have taken St. Bith. We have taken Bastogne, Vilsalm now, Wilts, Marc de Lange, and Malmedy. So it's just Hufalis and Marsh that are left. So we have 60, which is amazing. 60 every turn. That's crazy good. So 120 this turn. That's amazing. So cards wise, these are the same. We can now go for an OKW reserve. Not going to do that, but we're going to have a look at where we can actually deploy them. So it seems as if we can deploy them in the center if we wanted to. Oh, we could also deploy them. I know it's it says southwest, so we could deploy them all next to Mersh. 
And it seems like these guys are, you know, Brandenberger. So this is, I think, 7th Army Brandenberger. And this 11th Panzer are also going to be deployed in the southeastern map border. Uh, so, yeah, so that's interesting. So, uh, but um, I'd say that, yeah, I mean, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, perhaps uh, it might actually be good to get some more units uh, down in the 7th army uh, if we have Patton coming on strong, definitely. And they are coming, so, but the question is whether we can contain them with what we have or not. So maybe it would be a good idea to bring uh, some of these units in here, but we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see. And that's a Panzergrenadier division, and that's a Panzer division, and we do need Panzers. So looking at this one here, that would give us one, two Panzer regiments, as we can see. So I, I'd opt for this one first, actually. So uh, if we go for this one now, that would leave us with 20 points uh, left. Then it takes 60 and 60. That'd be uh, 140. That'd be not enough, actually. So, I mean, we could do this quite quickly. So actually, it might be a, a good idea to bring these guys about straight away. Let's take a look at this. Well, first, let's look at rear area. So now fuel is back, but with a higher number. Used to be 21, I think. Now it's 33. Supply is still around 1921, you know, ish. So I think this one is one. We have taken this one one uh, time less than we did fuel. We still have replacements at 10. So they still cost the same. It doesn't matter how much we seem to push. It's, it's more of how many times you actually buy this one. So, um, and these are, you know, decent apps, you know, now that we have lots of points and everything. Air support is reduced. And we have these depots as well. All right, let's take, take a look at the stats now. This is all. And as always, we like to see this growing the total number of troops. And look at that. So I don't know if they have gotten any, or well, they seem to have gotten some reserves here some reinforcements rather um because and they probably got some along here as well but we really knocked them down here then they went up a little bit and then we really knocked them down here we managed to kill off like seven thousand something to that effect maybe even more if they got reinforcements but i don't know and this gap is just increasing so now we almost have 50. We had 45, I think, before or something. So this one is increasing, and that's what matters, of course. If we have more units on the board, that's going to help us, of course. Casualties sustained. This is how many we have. We can go for inflicted anyway. So this is how much we have inflicted on the others. And we can see that uh, we managed to, uh, last round, uh, inflict 6,300, yeah. And they managed to go for 1,200, something like that. So, yeah, that's a big difference. And it's also, not, of course, very nice to have this divergence. Let's take a look at regime st statistics, and we start by looking at supply. So, this is the situation. Received from off-map, is around here, 59,000 sent to units is increasing, which means that we have a lower amount now um, in the buffer, basically. So we have gone down to, from 54 to 36 in just two rounds. So I think we want to push this one up by adding another uh, card simply. So that's what we're going to do. We also can see that we are slightly building up even more. And this is Stavolo, I think, and also Spa, I think. So let's have a look at unit supply then. So this is how much supply the units have. And we can actually see that we um, have not really increased our supply, which is unfortunate. We can also unfortunately see that 
from requested to received there is a widening gap there and we don't want to see that i don't know if we've been cut somewhere but that would explain things we'll see fuel you need fuel to move and attack so let's take a look at fuel that was uh, let's see oh fuel there we go and in this case we can see that this was sent to units and this was received from um off map so it's great that we actually get to send a lot to um units simply but it's unfortunate that we only have 40,000. So it seems like our war machine is requesting 82,000 a turn now, and we only get 40, which means it's going to cost us a lot of fuel. And this is not good going down like this. So we desperately need to add fuel. So I think fuel and supply cards are uh, in the cards, basically. So let's take a look at unit fuel. We can see that fuel is not dwindling but unit stocks of fuel are going down slightly we can unfortunately see that there's a widen, wide, slight widening gap between requested and received so let's go for the car straight away we definitely want to go for then the supply and the fuel and that's going to cost us something like 60 50 something so but we can definitely afford that so let's go for this one first Fuel is so important and supply is also important. And that's it. Now we can take a look at the stats. Let's take a look at supply. And now we see an uptick there uh, from 59 and adding another 40, which means that this one will go up in the next turn. So as this one did here, this one finally went up here. So we should see something like I don't know, 56 or something like this, but maybe uh, since this one is also going down further, it might be heading somewhere around here. We do the same thing with all supply when it comes to fuel. We can see now that we have added some more fuel here. This one, the white one was down here before. So now there is not a big difference here. So I don't know if that's going to show here or if, or if it's actually already showing here. I, I can't remember. Anyway, we've done what we can when it comes to cards. We still have 68 left, which means we're not going to bring this guy in here. But that's fine. We add another 60 next turn, which will make it possible to add this one uh, next turn, which is going to be in the, during the night. And then we'll be able to move then during the morning, which is going to be all right if that is what we choose to do all right let's take a look at what the enemy did this turn so we have 404 steps let's go one by one so this is polar which is just north of spa right here up here so we have an unknown unit moving in here and now we have three units in here instead of two now they're moving away and we move down to Hofaliz over here. And here we have the CCR 9th Armored Division moving, I think, away from here. No, actually in here, which is fantastic for us. Are they going up to Hofaliz? I don't know. Seems like it. So that's good. Mersh. Uh, we have Mersh over here. And this is the units of 212s, 7th Army. And uh, we have... The 276 is going down here and we have the 352 is going down like this. So yeah, they are converging on Marche basically. So we have an unknown unit moving around here. Perhaps leaving. So now we are back here at Stavalo and Malmedy over here. We have an attack here, but we do have right in here. We do have some really good flak so 11 out of 12 aircrafts uh, were repelled so that's really good no panthers lost and we have this one and in here we have 15 out of 16 aircrafts being repelled we also had help here with flak and in here so that was good we have an attack here unfortunately lost 10 panzer grenadiers we were able to repel 7 out of 15 not bad 
Then we have an airborne engineer moving. And I think he was he sitting here. He was sitting here first, we hit him, he moved back and then he's moving in here and moving away because he's beat up, I guess. Here we're looking at the stone area and we can see Team Mitchell moving somewhere around here. I think he was around here, so probably moving down south somehow. There's another moving uh, AAA airborne unit also moving away. Then we have 501 airborne unit moving away from, I don't know if it was this one or this square or hex, but it seems to be moving down south at least and into Sibre maybe. I think there was someone leaving here as well. And we're back at Hofalis in 116th Panzer where we have this AAA battalion also seem to be moving away. Seem to be moving towards La Roche. And this is Berton. And this is Hofaliz up here and Bastogne down here, as we can see. So we haven't seen anyone around here. We assume that there was supposed to be someone in Berton. This is an extremely important point when it comes to supply. Because if we take this one here, their only supply sources are from this area, which is going to be really difficult soon enough. And they are these are dirt roads even. So, and we have lots of units around here that seems to be um, having a problem really. So this one seemed to disappear somewhere. And then we have, is that the same one? Let's have a look. Yeah. So this airborne unit regiment or uh, he or battalion, he is moving from here. Is he going this way towards Rachon? No, he's yeah, he's pulling through Rachon all the way in here towards this one. And I can't remember that they actually hit this guy here, but this one is also very, very important because it's cutting supply off here as well. So I can understand why they want to get rid of this unit here. He gets intercepted and has to stop, I think. Again, this is Berton. This is 506, a strong airborne regiment or battalion or moving away. And this is a weak one. I think, I don't know if we had this one left. It's maybe moving away from here. And then we have Team Watson. Again, this is 116th Panzer. We have Team Watson sitting here and getting shot by Jagd Panthers as intercept fire. We have 508 moving away, moving away. We have 325, I think, showing up. No, 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 he's going into Mont, which makes sense for sure getting shot at. Then we have the other one leaving. 325. All right. And going up there, going in there, strengthening up here. I mean, there are only two roads, three roads away here. So I guess it sort of makes sense here, but I don't mind. We are now looking at the tiger up by Stumont Trapon here. So this guy was sitting somewhere around here, I think, or maybe this is a new one, actually. I don't know. And he seems to be moving down towards Vilsalm, trying to strengthen up or maybe preventing us from moving up, which we want to do eventually. Ah, no, no, no. He's decided to go up here instead. And then back. And then down. And somewhere. Whoa, 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 wait. What happened there? Okay, so we have 507. I think someone was moving there. Let's see, 507 there. Does he move? He does indeed. So he clears this one, which is thankful, but he gets intercepted and have to stay. Then we have this 507 coming up here and moving down there. Rather weak one. Now we are at Spa again. And we have Team Brown coming down, I think, moving in there, moving down there, moving maybe down towards Stamon, Stamon. See, yeah, it sure seems like it. We have again Trapon over here. We have the 505 now moving in here. After 507 moved back. 
they get hit by intercept fire. Then we have 505 coming in, maybe hidden before. Is that so? Or is that them? No. So another one. We have Teen Robinson, and this is... This is Spa right up here. Team Robinson coming up, or maybe moving away actually. Now showing up here, close to Verbomont. If that is the case, so in that case, he moved like this, showing up here. Okay. Then we have 117th again. We have movement of 504. Maybe he was sitting in here, moving down, I don't know. They get intercepted. This is Vilsal area, 504. He was sitting in here. We did not know how strong he was or what it was. Then we have 116th position. We have Team Williams moving down now. And in here, which makes sense, because we were worried, I was worried that I actually had a unit here which I moved up here that they were gonna go down here and cut these guys off suicide for sure but still so Williams is still moving away now we have an unknown unit moving where from let me go back Williams and then unknown unit somewhere okay let's see here I'm gonna go back here and then we go unknown unit where is he Ah, up there probably. And then we have Team Stewart, and this is like Lays coming down here, I think. Yeah, I get intercepted. And this is Bill Salm again. We have a recon squadron somewhere in here. Moving away. Or around, perhaps, rather. Yeah. This is Redange, and this is. Oh yeah, this is the difficult, difficult situation where we had two, is it? No, 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 I'm, I'm, let's see here what this is. No, where is this? No, 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 this is in the south. I was confused. It is in the south. This is the Merzig um, uh, Valley, basically. So what do we have? We have... Uh, 802 that actually has been moving all the way from Etzelbrück where he got um, beaten quite heavily. So is he moving away or in? I don't know. This is Poder, which is uh, north of uh, Spa. We have another unit coming in here. Then uh, possibly from this area over here where Rolban A is. I don't know where he goes. He seems to be going in here and then maybe up. Uh, or back, who knows, back and forth, and there he shows up, okay. I think at least, or maybe he, did, no, he, he, he was sitting maybe there, I don't know, seems like he's pulling out anyway. We have another one pulling out, I think, yeah, from here, going there, and going, oh, and leaving. And then coming back and leaving, or maybe someone went in there, yeah, I think he went, came from there. Let's go back and have a look. There are two right there. Yeah, they're emptying this hex. They, we're down in Marsh right now. Here we have a tank unit coming down, or a tank battalion coming down from somewhere here. Going maybe in here. Oh no, 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 no. So he's leaving. He was sitting right there, so he's also leaving which is very nice because this is kind of difficult to pass through. We're in the north. This is Röttgen up here. We have an unknown unit up here. And moving away, moving away, moving all the way there. It seems to really be leaving Röttgen. All of them seem to be leaving actually. We have 311 moving away. 311 moving away up through there okay then we have 116th again uh, we have 
an artillery battalion moving away. So they have emptied this square, this hex right now. They're really just moving away. This is Polaris north of a Spa. We have an artillery moving away. This is Redange, which is in the south. This is Bissen right here. And they're moving away. This is the Merzig Valley right there. Martelange is towards the west. And artillery moving away. And this artillery moving away also. Makes sense. We're back in the north. This is Röttgen area. And we have an unknown unit in the north. And he's... They are moving away. Seem to be a heavy mortar unit or something. So we have an airborne regiment. And this is... The difficult situation here, we did have two units, I think, in here and one in here. So we can see that they seem to be actually leaving, are they? Yeah, exactly. So that's great. Thank you. Maybe they are going towards Martelange or something or just taking a hike. So here we go. So this was the very, very, very difficult situation that we have. We were actually afraid that they were going to attack this one, but we had 88 guns here. They're actually attacking across a bridge here and removing this one here. What did we get? We did have 30 losses here, 10 pioneers and some Panzer Shreks, but they lost two Stuarts, no, one Stuart and two uh, Sherman tanks. So I'd say that's equal. It's unfortunate that we couldn't keep them there, but they move out there and then they just keep on hitting us, destroying us, right? Yeah, exactly. Which makes sense. Total sense. We're out in the open. No worries. No problem. And they move up and they move up there and that's it, right? They get intercepted with some headsets, which is nice. Cool. So they're gone, I'd say anyway. We have an armored battalion, right? So. This is Stavalo up here, Malmedy and Trapon. So this one is trying to escape from this hex right here, down here, trying desperately with their vehicles to get to uh, supply lines. Going in there, that's dangerous for them. Being up in the open, Van might be something, but they try, they actually pass by that one and go down there. How far can they actually go? Actually quite far. And that's it. Then we have an armored infantry battalion. Let's see, go back a little bit here. And then we go here. Okay, so we have this one. We have, we are Bill Salm here. We have these two weak units that we have ch uh, chased basically from around here outside the hut uh, all the way here. And they have problems moving, of course, but, and then they realize, oh shit, I'm fucked, basically. Um, wait for me and then oh shit we're fucked <laughs> something like that <laughs> that's that's so sad to see <laughs> use your radios and say we give up <laughs> my god anyway this is Harlange and so again we had uh, the two uh, this is Bastogne up here we have Martelange down here and we had these two uh, unit sitting here, moving down here. And we had, unfortunately, one unit sitting here, infiltrating our position. So that made us move down with Falois and Kaufmann and everything. But they actually seem to not go for it and actually want to return, which is really good for us. So they seem to go back down into safe territory. So that helps us also. So here we have an interesting situation. We hit task for Riley quite hard within the city here and um, they're leaving Schronweiler which uh, totally makes sense but there is no road really unless you can go here but then they again they have lots of uh, points but I think they might have less points now because they were hit so hard so we'll see oh well they that's impressive that's impressive also so I guess not Oh yeah, I think it is like this. The AI like gets like almost all their points back or something. I don't know. And this has to do with the AI not being um, that good. Because I know that Bic 
uh, Victor, uh, the designer, uh, I think it says in the rules, or maybe I spoke with him or, or so, that uh, they have had to compensate the AI from going back and forth by giving them some extra points, basically. So that works. It's not optimal, but that's one way of, of uh, solving things a little bit. We're up by La Glaze. Oh, this is so interesting. Look at this. This is Stum not Stumon, but this is Stavolo and Malmedy. So up here, we have chased this tank unit, and I was afraid it was going to go down there, or go up here and keep being up here. Now he's actually moving down. He's very, very short of uh, when it comes to fuel. And he keeps on moving, and we we're hoping he was going to go here. Ooh, when he goes in there, that's interesting. They are also escaping, but they did not reach him at least, which is good. All right, so this is a Merzig Valley again. So these guys are moving away here. We are in a very nice position with city, city, city or something like that. City, city and woods at least. So I understand why they're moving away. Okay, so we're back here at Bastogne right now. We have an airborne regiment moving, moving away, I think. And we have uh, Team Long moving away. And Mitchell is moving, I guess, away. And here we have Caraway. I think Caraway was sitting here. I didn't know that they actually had two units in here, but sure. So he seems to be moving away, which makes sense. We have also Airborne Engineer. Where is this? This is Hofali's Airborne Engineering moving somewhere. Unknown unit. This is the trap we try to set for the tank up uh, down south of Vilsalm. And uh, we have some kind of unknown unit here. Moving our problem, perhaps somewhere around here, going in here, moving up there. That's interesting, leaving a city. Uh, that's good for us. We're up by Rutgen here and Rutgen is, or Rutgen is uh, up in the northern sector and we have an unknown unit leaving that so we have very two very very strong tank units up here which is difficult but uh we have artillery coming down getting intercepted and that's it tank destroyer leaving i think this position in here isn't it yes indeed and then away get intercepted there that's good this guy i can understand where he's running get intercepted it has to stay then we have this unknown unit moving away. So I think this is clear, which me makes us able to uh, attack this guy here uh, and move down here. Perhaps we'll see how far he actually goes. Okay, he goes towards the Rutgen. Okay, so this is first SS and this is the dangerous area with Trapon. And uh, we have this one. I don't know if he's moving back or forth. Let's see if we can go back one. No, can't see it. Okay. Well, he seems to be moving away, which is very, very, I'm very, very happy with that. This guy is moving away from there, isn't he? Um, no, 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 no. He's in there and move, moves like that. Okay. Gets intercepted. Thank you. And this is Vil Salm, and we have Team Turner coming and showing up, I think. And that's it. And then we have, again, the dangerous situation here, but... From the south, from Vilsalm area, we have this one moving up, I guess. Okay, some somewhere around there. Here is the northern sector again. This is Monschau up here. This is uh, Röttgen up here. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. They seem to be leaving. Röttgen up here again. Moving down here. And then we had this unit. Let's have a look at that where that one is. Okay, so we can't see. I don't know if the 120th coming from this one, but he gets intercepted. This is Holban A. And uh, we have an artillery battalion moving away, I think. We have 
Bissen here. So this is Ettelbrück in the northern sector, Mersch down here, and we have two 12s coming down all the way down here, up moving up towards Mersch. This one is leaving Bissen. Team Chamberlain. Thank you. And we have Task Force Standish, which is quite strong. Then we have Team Ford moving down. Evans. Okay, so this is good placement, of course, but uh, we have so many roads leading into this one. That's also a very nice move by us. And this he's emptying this one. Task Force Standish moving away further. Is he moving into Bissen? Nope. Which is weird, but maybe he couldn't. We have an unknown unit. This is Rotgen. This is in the north. And uh, yeah, we'll see where they go. Don't know. Maybe down, actually. Okay. Trying to assemble a force there. Or maybe not. That one went from here to here. Okay. Right. And then we have units. This is Spa right up here. So we have a unit in here. Moving up, which is dangerous, of course. But yeah, we have the assembling of the force right there. The nice thing is that we do have second SS Das Reich coming up here, uh, which is going to be very, very helpful and needed, as we can see. And then we get the artillery attack losing. And I was afraid of 50, but I didn't see that we have 1550. So, uh, yeah, no worries. That's like, yeah, that's less that that's like 2% or 2.5% or something. An opal blitz or whatever still it, it's still 50 though so let's see where that one comes from okay so maybe it comes from the south or something they get hit right there this is Rolban A again here we have Koopa moving away probably from this hex right there and they seem to set up a shop here okay we have 116th Panzer Division right here we have O'Hara which has the tanks moving back Back to Hufalis and away. We have Campbell also tanks moving away. But where you're gonna go, brother? Yeah, exactly. Nowhere. But this is in danger, of course, as we can see here, being surrounded. We have task for O'Hara. Did he move back? Did he? Yes, he did. Going into Hufalis and going that direction instead. Alright. We have La Glaze here and Stumont here, and we have a new new unit here, or maybe he's moving away, I don't know. But he gets intercepted there and has to stay. We had another unit here, unknown unit, let's see, uh, probably moves down south. Or maybe he shows up here for some reason, I don't know how fast he is. We have another unit here in the northern parts of Stumont and uh, La Glaze. And we have an infantry unit coming up here, strengthening this row here. This is the dangerous area right there. Gets intercepted. So we get artillery attack right up here. This is north of La Glaze. And we do lose some, but not a whole lot, really. That's totally fine. We have engineering unit moving away because we're threatening it with uh, surrounding it. And then they get hit. Maybe they got destroyed there. It looks like it, but and it's actually from uh, grenades here, actually. I think it's from this unit right there. Could possibly be that. But he's in heavy forest. I so shouldn't have been destroyed, but I don't know. Here's another 30 or 26 uh, coming up here. Maybe he was sitting here before. And this one is leaving, going, showing up here. Here, no, 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 that's a totally different one. Let's see where, no, actually, maybe not. Yeah, it could be. Let's see where he went from. Yeah, it could be moving in like that. No, he comes from here. Okay, that's cool. This is actually fantastic because I do want to have the tanks all by themselves, if that's possible. And he gets intercepted, which is great. This is down in Mersch. Right. 
So we have an engineering unit or something else actually moving away here. No, he's actually moving forward. That's Jackson. Ooh, what, why is he doing that really? I mean, I don't mind. I'm thankful for their presence, the gifts he's bringing. We have another unit moving away, I think. Moving up here, probably going to try and stop us. Yes, this, this is bad for us, but reasonable for sure. We have another one moving in here, I think. Actually moving away and moving up here, our artillery, which makes sense. That's a good spot to be at, so why does it leave? He had such, such a nice vantage point there. Gotta drink some tea talking all the time, you know. So let's have a look here. We have a, a marsh and here we have the engineer moving from here over here and then moving back there for whatever reason and moving back and Jackson dis uh, decides to move away from Lincoln also, which seems to be open and the artillery moves back again and moves back in here, which doesn't make sense, but sure we get hit here with artillery, but we have no losses here since we're in a city. But we do know and remember that we are going to get kicked out there from, I think, a strong unit of like airborne units or something. And here he comes. Okay, so it's just just, but it's infantry, but that this, you know, 73, 6 can totally understand that. 84. Okay, so now 150 against six, something like that. And then you can bring even more. <laughs> that is ridiculous. So I can totally understand that we get kicked out from there. So we lose two out of three uh, trucks, one out of six jagged panthers and uh, a flak unit and no troops. So we actually I wouldn't say we survive. Yeah, we survive, but um, they lose 70, which is like almost 10% of their veterans. They lose 20 out of 240. They lose some bazookas, mortars, and so on. I'd say that this is a very, very good result for us. It's never good to lose that city, of course, but yeah, what can you say? And that one goes in there. It's interesting how they these guys don't like hit me back but this is the road for i think some of the units of das reich also so they are going to feel the wrath here soon enough this is outside berton this is Hofalis. we have an engineering unit moving actually towards us which is surprising really but hey, if they got lots of reinforcements, that makes sense, sort of. But at the same time, we have units running away. So I don't know, maybe uh, he realizes that this is no fun. And then going all the way back there. And oh, that's going to be not easy to pick up, but that's nice. We have, and they seem to be so uncoordinated in the fact that there seem to be like no radio communication whatsoever which AI wise makes sense definitely in that sense, but in, in the sense that I can understand how it's being constructed that each and every one doesn't know anything else. You know, they don't have the overall picture or anything, but in uh, like a real world sense, real world sense, it might not be that correct. <laughs> like these guys, why are they moving forward when they should have heard, but perhaps they are moving some simultaneously forward actually while we see it sequentially. So, I mean, I don't mind really, but so these guys are moving up here and strengthening hopefully and not and then moving away. So instead of going here, which seems to be we, we might actually be able to take this one. So it makes sense that they run away this way, perhaps. 116th Hofalis, we have a 508th Airborne moving down actually. 
we are looking at Bastogne right here. I think the engineer was sitting here. Can't remember. And he was moving down south just. And here is Vilsalm right here. And we have an unknown unit moving actually towards us. It seems to be T more. T more. And then we have artillery moving away instead. See? It's interesting, some moving forward, some moving back. I mean, of course, artillery moving back makes sense. And then we're back now on to Govi and 116th. And this is the weird one. So I wonder whether this one came from this direction or something. I don't know where this guy one comes from. Or if it's just like a straggling unit being around somewhere here that we've missed. But anyway, some artillery perhaps against that one if I can. Then we have Airborne Triple A. This is 116th and Hovalis right there. Moving away also. And then we have Spa area around here. We got hit here. They're moving in there. Seems like they are feeling victorious around here. And they are quite strong compared to us right now. And this is bar right here. Seems like they're moving down, are they? No. And this is the CCR 7th Armored Division, which we would very much like to go with a Werfer or something. Un but this one didn't have any staff members left, I think. So if that is the case, it makes sense. And that's the end of history. So let's go back to the map and it's interesting how he's in march mode but as we can see here actually he's got tanks there so that's interesting it might be that this guy has gotten like reinforcements or something could be i don't know if they had i don't think i can't remember that they had actually but they have no staff staff members anyway here so that's totally fine and like, I don't know, do we have a tank here? No, and this is too strong anyway. So let's go back all the way down south and have a look at this situation simply. So it seems like Jackson pulled out here and we shall be able to move forward here. And um, we can see here that this one might not I don't think there's anyone in here. I don't think there's anyone in here, but we can't tell for sure from this dis distance. So moving in here, establishing positions here and like a screen here would be really, really nice. I would also like to send just to, you know, take a look. I'd like to move this guy over here um, just to get a feel for the situation over here. Um, like a tentacle basically feeling uh, away there. We do have uh, these 276s and we have a rather strong position here in the heavy forest. And that's going to be a problem, but we are going to move like this and uh, almost surround them, which makes them have to probably move away also. And this one is only one unit right now. and We have very little recon, but moving like this and like this we will be able to probably figure out what this is and also threatening this one maybe take bedding in would be very very nice but can we yes we actually can so i think that would be very very successful uh, if we can do that i mean it, it will be out of supply and everything but still that would be very very strong and uh, these guys are just gonna have to push on through here and uh, what else we have Bison that's open we can see it's open so gonna move in here and then um, I don't know if we're gonna hit this guy here uh, no I probably not yeah we can only hit him from the front here but we'll take Bison for sure um, and this is gonna be undefendable I'd say it's gonna be really really difficult for them so yeah It's interesting how this one is assumed to be ours.
when uh, like this uh, when why is that is that because we can see in here or I mean we have no side here we have no recon here but I don't know anyway we have so this is going to be an interesting situation here they have what, what one two three four five six seven eight units against all of ours I mean, they might have some more but still that's overwhelming then we have the medicic valley over here they have a stopping unit here in Vichten, which is problematic but not unsolvable we have these two units coming down here from the range, uh, the mountain range. So it looks good. We are pressing the attack on these ones. Take Betborn, go and moving towards Redange. Makes sense. Maybe actually going like this to Betborn and this one going forward, just threatening, just pushing, 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 I think would make sense. And this guy here, probably just try and take Hoster take the roads and everything this is um, I don't know where they are actually so this one we need to take of course but um, that shouldn't be a problem yeah it looks good for sure and then we have no enemies as of yet uh, in here so we can actually reach quite far here if we want to we can take Loftemont and these guys can go down and sit down here, which is a fantastic place to sit in. This is also a very, very nice place to sit in. So advance here first and then here. And let's go up one notch here. And let's remove the map grids like that. Okay, so take a look at this one. We have Arlon over here. So this is important place, of course, all, all through here. I mean, this is such a nice hex to bring in units, of course, because they can go up here, they can go here, they can go here, rather than placing units here. Sure, that'd be great against the 7th arm, uh, seventh Army, and sure, and everything here. But um, if you want to retake Bastogne and have the 3rd Patton's Army coming up here, you'd have to drive through here for sure. So um, you could drive through here as well. Potentially you could drive, but look at that. Yeah, maybe you can put them down here in Florianville or something or down here. But I know they, historically they came from Luxembourg down here. So it would make sense. I think they're coming from this road supposedly. But what happens in this game, I have no idea actually. And I can't see that around here, so maybe they're already here and so on. But if they want to come around towards Bastogne, then of course this hex is very important. This hex is also very important, not giving them access to this road over here by any way. Um, and they are sure they can go here and everything here, but also as we mentioned before, Laglis might may be also important. Now Sure, they can go on these tracks, for example. That's also possible. So maybe you'd want to have units around here, but you could perhaps find some other places here. So sitting up here is also quite nice. In the this oh, that's plain snow, but like this heavy forest snow, for example, that's a very nice position to be in. Uh, up here heavy forest snow is also very nice if you can reach here this is also a fantastic place being up one level also and sure this is not a terrible place but um, they will be attacking from uh, above unfortunately so maybe this one or this one would be good to stop them from reaching here so i'm going to push this guy south and see how far I go and then maybe I need to maybe push them also to the left side here but I'm probably going to meet resistance soon enough so we'll see what happens but these are quite strong with 52 and 53 anyway so yeah we'll see and then we have 53 coming up here as well and we do have a Panzerjäger or Stugs and 
so on that are going to move down here south as well so and then also we have to remember that we have one unit that snuck away here i think or maybe actually down here and then we have two units sneaking in like this so these positions right there could be enemy units in that sense supply wise we're actually in supply here i can tell like that so that is fabulous all right so that's something to think about we have we can actually go up here maybe one so this is the best stone area right up here and we still have some units here that we will be able to hit but uh, actually what we want to do is have i think the the 26 box granite years pushing out and i don't know but i think maybe we need to crush these guys as much as we can with fast units and once we're done with that we can take important positions with the 26 box granite years and then uh, to make sure and we have to figure out how we're going to do that we have to take a look at very very important because now we're going to be spread out and we still want to be concentrated around the stone because it's such an important area so we'll see how we're going to solve that but really i mean putting up a screen that's what we're trying to do so from the south here maybe the 26 is able to put a screen something something like this that would be of course very very nice but we'll see if that works and then we're supposed to move across here or the well with all these units uh, eventually so it's really trying to catch these guys in mitch and and the i think it was was a caravel or something uh, moving this direction before they blow the bridge also taking Barton is going to be important and also taking this bridge over here um, will be important because we can see that we have some really nice um, easy uh, traversable um, roads simply so we don't have to go this only if we have to we'd like to go this way but at the same time there's so many units here by the 116th that we sort of have to take care of them because otherwise they're going to cut the lines it, yeah, yeah it's going to be difficult maybe we can leave some units because this is difficult to crawl uh, to uh yeah we could be like we could leave a unit here or something like that or maybe in mont or something and then traverse like go this way and then go in here and we'll catch them but i don't know we'll see what happens up here this is uh south of vilsalm we have this unit we have this unit which we ought to be able to take care of and then we have the vilsalm we all have already crossed the, the river right here which was very very important to take that bridge and uh, we want to move down south because we want to take this roads these roads over here uh, as much as we can of course so and that should not be too much of a problem and what else we have um, let's move in here this situation has been resolved we have uh, i think the the unit that was sitting up here is now down here so uh, either just follow them and crush them and then go up here or not care about them maybe have i don't know these are artilleries but yeah we'll see we just push the units forward here and then we have the tank unit up here which is difficult to see in the forest but still uh, it's unfortunate that he's in the heavy forest however he's at height one now and so are we so that's going to be a lot easier at least so um yeah and this one is you know of course dead there's no chance for this guy to survive so that's good and then we can just move in hit this guy here and i'm really wondering whether they have any tanks left now 
I I can see how if they don't have any tanks right now, it's easier to hide in the forest. But I don't know. We'll see. So we have to follow up and take care of these guys here. And that's our mission around here for this turn, simply before the night comes. And trying to uh, get rid of these guys here. Then we have this situation down here. They have moved forward. It's still a dire situation. It's not an impossible situation. It's difficult for them to do anything here because we are so strong here, but they could surround us, of course, and so on. And uh, we'll still, we still have like plenty of uh, internal supplies and everything. So, uh, but yeah, it's difficult anyway. So we just go for artillery against these guys here because yeah, while we can basically, it looks quite good anyway. Then we have this lonely guy sitting all by himself. And then if that happens like that, he's going to get crushed like this, not like that, but like this. So thank you. Appreciate that. And then we have some other strong units that will be needed to take down with artillery. Eventually, it's going to take some time. This is a strong barrier for sure. So it's difficult. That's actually four to one, which is kind of cool. And this one is impossible. No, it's actually not three to one. Looks decent. And how about this guy? Uh, that's difficult. But maybe moving around like this would be nice to stop him from leaving at least. Because he's, he's actually not road bound here. So he seemed to have lost his trucks and stuff from somewhere, which is interesting, definitely interesting. And he is on a height three, which we also are. And this is also height three. So moving up like this uh, could be something. I want to see if they are motorized, are they? They are definitely motorized. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, that's good. And these guys here also are going to be able to move up here. So that's cool. Or here. They're actually able to go here and hit this guy. Here. Yeah, anyway. And uh, we are looking at Rolban C over here. We do have uh, these units. Uh, these are the second SS Das Reich. They're actually able to come here and here and hit them, it seems. So that's pretty cool. And they are bringing like four Panthers and uh, some Panzer Grenadiers and Pioneers. So it looks decent. And then we have also these Verfes that somehow have not received a whole lot of supplies here. Let's have a look at the supply situation. Okay, it's yellow, which makes sense. So. Yeah, but they do have some supply here at least. So, I mean, it's going to hurt, I guess. Anyway, yeah, and we have this situation up north of Spa, which is difficult to say the least. I don't know what we're going to do with this guy here. Probably move in here, uh, but it looks difficult here. And then we'll, I don't know. That looks very, very nice. Be able to get rid of these guys, howitzers and everything. So it looks good. Yeah. We have this one also belonging to the Das Reich. Not being able to hit here, but still. And we have this situation up here on Holban A. And this is all alone. My God. That is wouldn't say stupid, but <laughs> yeah, I do that. Look at that. So he's going to get killed. And then we can move up everything else towards these guys here. And what do we have here? I mean, they are not weak by any means. They have an AA gun here. 
Yeah, I could move this one and hit this guy here. Maybe that's to do because we do have these guys also yeah we'll figure out something we definitely will figure out something there all right and then we have the situation up here and they have really thinned things out which means that this one is dead also uh, no matter how you look at it it is dead as we can see it's going to be really difficult for this guy to survive so, I mean, at least push him back. And we'll be able to move these guys also to hit them. But they are three actually, so that's going to be difficult. And them being in heavy forest and everything. But we're just going to push, 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 push. That's all we can do. And also maybe start bringing these guys, not in here because that's going to be horrendous, but rather up here towards Rutgen, I think, uh, helping out destroying these units as much as we can. And uh, maybe actually towards this one uh, with two tank units and going up here and then firing against them. I think that's what we want to do with six Verfes. That'd be crazy good. Crazy good. And what else we've got? We got this situation here. Uh, yeah, it looks terrible for them. So we can go and hit this guy here which we definitely can from two directions or three directions even and so on um we are going to stop these guys here and envelop these guys for sure and these guys are probably going to be able to go somewhere around here but we'll see and that's it it simply looks fantastic this one is up now by 119 and just want to have a look. It's still not being able to repair this one. So it's going to take some time and see if we can see here. There we go. So a major river is 300 EPs and they get 60 or 59 each turn. So that would mean if we take five, six turns, basically six turns altogether and we've used two turns already now so four more turns then and really i don't mind here really because this one is a kind of a useless one now also remember that i do have cards uh being able to not repair bridges but build new bridges which is kind of nice um however um i don't want to do that here um because i do have an engineering unit and maybe later on we'll uh, see situations where we actually do need to build bridges so yeah we're good definitely good so all in all it looks terrific i'd say uh, uh definitely uh from all the way down here i mean merch is going to fall quite soon like i think we'll be able to take it next day on the 21st i would think that we will be able to take redange also uh, next turn perhaps depending if we see any reinforcements from uh, Arlon um, I think we might be able to set up something around here but we'll see I don't know again depends on reserves we should be able to clean this situation up also within two day or uh, one day I think I hope I don't have great units around here I do have an artillery unit there which is good but that's one and I have this guy that could be used to intercept, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'd rather kill their supply basically. So we'll see. Maybe start moving these guys up towards Senle and um, I don't know, follow them or something. I don't know, we'll see. What else can we do? Yeah, the thing is also, I can't really the go Marc de Lange if they are coming down also that's the thing and down here we're, we're just going to clean this one up and that's going to be uh, possible to do during next day basically and then we should be able to move towards Ortheville next day basically and hopefully we should be able to take Berton I think this turn on 1800 I hope so at least so look at this guy 
Seems like he can't reach here. But I mean, I can put these guys on march mode for sure. And like there, look at that. I mean, I could even go here and, and just put a unit right there. And that's it, you know. So, yeah, just march this guy here. Although he's got 86, so I don't think he'll make it actually. So it's not that maybe that easy. Yeah, same thing with this one, it's 87. Yeah, I don't know, but something to that effect anyway. So it looks good here. And what is this guy doing here? Well, he's gone. And uh, yeah, it does not like look easy. And uh, this one, it's just gonna, you know, we'll take it piece by piece. And then we have the FGBs moving up here, also being able to hit these guys. That's gonna be fabulous. Tank unit is able to reach here if I want to, but I'll be able to, I think, knock this one down with artillery. So yeah, he's got problems with the, probably with the trucks and everything moving around. But this one, it's gonna have to survive a bit longer and that might be a problem but if we move these guys up here threatening these guys maybe they will just run away i think that might be the case so we'll see up here in Vilsal, uh we're just gonna push here and uh, all of these will have taken this one for sure and be on the other side by uh the end of next day basically moving up towards here i think because I think they don't seem to have a whole lot of reinforcements over here. In here, this is a slight problem, but we do have nine SS moving in here, so we should be able to take care of this one. And tomorrow during the day, these ones will either leave or they will get chewed up basically. And same thing here, I think we'll have units leaving and taking up other points around here, but you never know. And um, up in Spa, we are going reinforcements here. I think we should be able to take care of this situation pretty much by the end of the next day, basically, unless they have actually moved away. And this one will also get help from the second SS. This one here, just push, push, push. And nothing else, push, push, push. It's gonna take time. They are just really deliberately slowing us down, which makes sense. But every time they do have to have like some rear guards here and they will get chewed up. And this one here is going to be resolved, I think even more with the Werfus. So I think we might be actually be, be able to take Röttgen. Look at that. And I don't know if there's, there's probably someone in there, but if we do take Röttgen, then um, they're all going to be out of supply, pretty much. I think so. Oh, that's interesting. They're actually not throwing it through Rotgen, but through here. So we should be able to take that point here. Maybe even that point here, which is more important. And then probably, and then if we can take Otgen, then they, these guys are all gonna have a major problem. All of them. But we have seen lots of units moving out, so probably they have assembled in Otgen and also further away. So, yeah, I don't know. It would be nice, but maybe it's a pipe dream. We'll see. So yeah, and these guys, if they want to join here are going to let's see that's plus eight isn't it and this is 200 so these guys are probably going to be able to move soon enough but i would have liked to have engineers around here but we don't anyway don't we have any engineers around here oh, we do actually have so we do have an engineering unit 272 that could like drive here but how 
how long is that going to take? They oh, actually they're 210 pioneers here. That's 100 each turn, which would mean three turns, and then they would be able to open it. So, might be interesting because I don't know if I really need this guy here. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think there should be some engineers around here as well. But, yeah, two engineers in here. That's not necessary because everything here is open. Yeah, so that's an idea. All right, guys, uh, that's it, I think. So, um, again, thanks for watching. It looks, uh, everything looks good. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting now to uh, uh, start uh the 1800 hours uh, and that's going to be the last turn um on the 20th of december and then we're going to see night turns and then we start all over on the 21st december and really the game lasts until 31st of december um so we have played now 16th pretty much all of 16th except for the first night turn 17th 18th 19th and soon 20th so we have basically moved through five days almost here now so uh, that's pretty cool and then we have 10 days left basically of uh, fighting so one third have uh, we've passed and uh, been able to successfully do this and i think i think we have already won the game really because when you have this gap um depending on what kind of re reinforcements they will get. This uh, looks like a win to me. It definitely does. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but it's exciting because it's the first time I play Wacht am Rhein and, uh, um, in this game. And um, yeah, totally cool. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to close, close this uh, episode right now and I'll see you in the next one. Simply enjoy and take care, guys.